Crafters, we're back for day 16 of the 30 day scrap challenge. Today we're talking tree leaves. And to be honest with you, I'm a little overwhelmed with this topic. So I think I chose it just because I have so many leaves. So first of all, I'm going to uh, look in my little drawer that I have labeled leaves. And these are again, a lot of leftover paper pumpkin pieces and um, yeah, paper pumpkin. So anything that's like a leaf or something that could go on a tree, I think I just generally stick it in this bin. So I'm gonna look there. I also have this other bin of supplies that I've already cut out and then I ended up not using. So just like random spider webs and little designs and oh pumpkin that I colored but just didn't make it on its way to a card so I'm gonna dig through here I can already see here that I've got some tree leaves um, this looks like bark so I'm gonna pull that out oops some more tree leaves um, here's a fence that seems like it could go with a tree right this is green and it looks like it could go with a tree, more green trees. So, you know, chances are if I root through here, I've got something. So that's what we're doing today. We're looking for anything that we have that's like tree related or leaf related that we can try and use up our scraps and put onto a card. So take a minute to look through your supplies and then I will be back with some more ideas. Okay, so I pulled out some retired products. Now I'm gonna show you some current products that could work for this challenge. The first one is a bundle called Inspired Thoughts and Inspired Canopy Dyes. So this is just a sentiment set, so that's not so necessary. But this is great for using up scraps because you basically are gonna run this through the die cut machine and punch out your four trees. And then you've got all these little bits that you sort of can layer on top of each other. And I used this set in a class not too long ago and we made this card and I just love it. I love how you can like layer different um, colors of leaves on top of each other. You can even add some on the ground. And some people even got creative where all these holes are. You could then glue those here so it looks like the leaves are falling from the tree. So this is a great way to use up your scraps. Just cut a bunch of different colors that you can layer onto a tree trunk. Okay, the next set is also current, but it's no longer a bundle. So called Love of Leaves. These images sort of fill in these dies, but this would be a good set too because these images are so large that you could just punch out a couple and add it to a card and quick and easy use up some scraps. The third one is probably my favorite and this is the Beauty of a Friendship Bundle currently available and I love it because it has two different tree trunks and then two different um, sets of leaves over here. And this stamp set can stand alone too, where you're just, you know, stamping and uh, it's a two-step stamp. So you can layer the stamped images on the trees. Also has some great sentiments with some mixed fonts, which I love. But this is great for basically digging through your scraps, trying to find some paper that's about this size. So what I did was I pulled out my green scrap bin and you can pick another leaf color. And I'm gonna go through here and try and find any paper that's big enough to fit on um, and cut out some leaves. So I'd say about three inches by two and a half inches. So I'm gonna take a minute and see what I can find in my green scraps. Okay, I feel like this is a true scrap challenge today. So I just pulled all this junk out of my one drawer. Then I ran the dye for the leaves through with any piece of paper that I had that was halfway green that was that size. Now I'm going to cut out these tree trunks and again I pulled this all out of my scrap drawer and I'm not about to cut anything else. So that's a close fit, not perfect, but it's gonna do. <laughs> this is a piece of a box so I just yeah I got that. Um, I wanted to use um, early, true, true scrap challenge. I wanted to use early espresso, but I don't have any uh, cardstock that's big enough. So I'm actually probably gonna sponge it to turn this early espresso. This is the old chocolate chip that's already retired, which 
is not as deep as the early espresso, but this is what I have. So this is what I'm going to use. I'll be right back. So I am literally just trying to find anything that I can that halfway matches and coordinates that I am finding in my scrap bin. So this is old Christmas paper. So for this challenge, the only thing I've cut were the tree leaves or the tree branches. Like this piece right here was a piece that I embossed, oh, so many years ago because this was using coordinations paper that we used to carry that we don't anymore. Um, okay, so you're just gonna try and put down whatever you can using up scraps. So if you don't have these three particular dies that I've mentioned, that's okay. You can still do this by just digging through your scrap bins and seeing whatever you have that pertains to leaves or trees. So this literally was a piece that I embossed a long time ago. And this was a piece that I embossed a long time ago. <laughs> And this was a piece that I practiced embossing and uh, like inking at the same time. And they're all green and white. So I just decided I'm going to throw them together. Okay, I don't think I've ever done this before, but this is another piece that I've, <clears throat> that's a little darker, um, embossed and experimented with. So I just threw four different uh, pieces of cardstock down that four different kinds of embossing that might be a little much but I feel a lot better because I have <laughs> used up something that has been sitting there for a long time this was cut out of old DSP and I just love cutting the leaves out with DSP because it just gives you a different look depending on what part of the DSP you cut out so hey that works okay so I've got four somewhat similar cards, all using um, the beauty of friendship. <laughs> beauty of friendship. Um, and again, I'm just gonna go in my scrap drawer and see if I have some scraps already laying around for sentiments and just throw those on. So See what you can come up with and anything having to do with trees or leaves. Make sure you take a picture and post it in the Stamp with Cheryl Facebook group.